Hello family, coming back on with another video. Praises to the Most High. To Yeshua, our King, our Savior, our Redeemer, Redeemer and unto the Ruach, the Holy Spirit. Um, California now first state to ban racial discrimination against natural hair. So did you know it was a problem? Well, I know some schools, you know, and they call themselves private schools, got in their lineup how they want hair to be from, um, you know, the Israelites, so-called black people. So it says here, Alicia Drayton, a hairstylist who specialized in braids, laughed with the salon owner, Stephanie Hunter Ray, reflected in the mirror at her exquisite you hair salon in Sacramento. So, uh, California uh, is the first state, as it says, it says the Crown Act, the Crown Act, update the state's anti-discrimination laws so that race includes traits historically associated with race, such as afros and braids. So when I first saw this. It's like, I was like, what? Then I, I finally read, I read it and, and, and took about a moment to read it. So this um, governor here, I, I believe there is a video. Um, it's trending on, um, <clears throat> on Twitter, of course. But there's a video that is associated with it. I'm going to share the link and you all can read further. But um, you would think that it's not a problem, has never been a problem, but... The nerve of uh, some of these, um, you know, policies that have been placed in schools. And, you know, if you try it, if you let them continue to try it and, and push it, they're going to, you know, believe that we accept it. So my point to say to all, you know, let them, you know, Chinese, Asian sto stores go bye bye. Do not buy no more hair from them. Become the natural and be the natural that you are. Okay. Gray and all. <laughs> I strongly suggest that. Um, you know, because we have given millions. They're pretty much trillionaires um, who have been making money. I have never seen the agents on a Fortune 5. I mean, I'm sorry, a, a Forbes list for being um you know, in a millionaire status, that means that they would make way more money and they probably on the list in uh, Asia. So I haven't seen it. Maybe it's out there, but, um, I'm just want to say, forget that, you know, we are natural by design, how the almighty made us, how our hair come out of our, um, far as head, far as how it grow with the curl pattern is, you know, we have different curl patterns, of course, but let's embrace our beauty and stop putting money. You know, this is something that we should definitely look towards having for ourselves. How could we, um, put forth an effort to bringing it within our neighborhoods? Um, they set up shops throughout our neighborhoods to do your nails, to do your feet, um, eyebrows, uh, hair i mean all the products they make money off of us you know at least 95 percent of, of it other people they make five percent they don't even i don't think buy their own product and i'm probably right now make it up you know saying what's probably not true but come on what, what are they gonna do cut their hair what type of texture what, what do they use do they even use all sheen on their hair come on Let's stop investing and putting our money and let's be the natural people that the Almighty has created and made us. I know, I know, I know. I've been there. I, I've, I've had, you know, the 24-inch hair and the different texture of hair. And I know, I know, I know. But now I know better. So for those who are still out there and you kind of trying to figure this all out, pray and ask the Almighty to, to deliver you. To deliver you and let you embrace what he has given you. That's right. So it says the natural hair movement, which encouraged black people, so-called black people, to wear their hair in its normal coiled, coarse, or curly state, started when more people began shunning 
chemical relaxers embracing their afro texture hair for health and cosmetic reason and so of course you know let's 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 embrace what the almighty have given us so i'm going to share this link and uh kudos for uh i want i thought it was a video that um i had let me let me click here and see that video and uh, but this is a beautiful picture right here beautiful beautiful mm-hmm all natural L. yes and even coming down to the eyelashes we got to let it go family we go out in the wilderness you ain't gonna have all of that if you know now i had um the almighty showed me in a dream that i was actually looking down on the village and if that's it you know we all got the same color house we got the same size we got the same porch and you know it it's uh was actually made of like a dome and all had the same orange uh type of uh tile what i want to say roofing on the top all the houses look the same no one can say oh your house bigger than mine and i'm saying i don't know if this is going to be like in the wilderness how the almighty you know going to do it but we ain't got no time to be running about oh, oh i need my hair perm oh i need my hair this and oh i need my no I, oh, I don't have my eyelashes. I can't go out without my eyelashes. No. Oh, I, I need my nails done, my toes done. No. Learn to do whatever you can do and let's be as natural as possible. Because in that day and time, if you caught up and you so depending on all that, you're not going to be able to walk away. When the Almighty says time to go, you ain't going to be able to walk away. So start, you know, shedding these things. Like, you know, even in your house, look around. What is so important to you if the Almighty said leave without anything? How would you deal with that? If he said you're able to take one thing, what would you do? How would you deal with that? If he, if he tell you don't take nothing, how would you deal with that? So we need to make sure that we're leaning towards that direction and putting aside all this worldly, when it says come out from among them, worldly things aside and let's, you know, Get our natural on. And, and, you know, for those who have a hard time, separate and pray. Ask the Almighty to take it away from you. Deliver you from it. That's right. He will, and he will do just that. Okay, fam, take care. I don't know if I'm going to be back on with another video or not. I've been putting it out today. So um, I just wanted to, you know, provide this information. And kudos. So I'm going to look for that video. Um, it was... Uh, let's see if this is it. it. It may not. This might take me into Twitter. But I saw the video where... Um, I don't know what it's doing. So I'm going to go ahead and close our family. But bless us high unto Yeshua and unto the Ruach. Take care, family. Blessings. Shalom.